yeah, I think we're rolling. And this is just for history's sake, right? I'm actually writing the Wyman story right now. I'm like go, doing all this uh, primary research, looking for old newspaper articles and things like that. And I get a sense for his trip and stuff like that, but it's hard to get a sense for him. He kind of disappeared from the scene. Maybe we should, let's rewind and like introduce yeah. ourselves and, sure. why, and why we're doing this. Uh, my name is Ben Rich. I have ridden across the country several times on a Zero S or Zero SR electric motorcycle. Um, I just love long distance riding and riding an electric motorcycle. And uh, my understanding is that Ben was the second person to cross the country on an electric motorcycle. My name is John Flores and I think I'm the third uh, to do it on an electric motorcycle. I'm a, a writer and photographer wrote for Roadrunner magazine. So last year I did the trip uh, from San Francisco to New York City following the route of the first transcontinental motorcycle trip or first transcontinental motor vehicle trip at all. Um, done by a fellow by the name of George Wyman in 1903. The first motor vehicle trip? Yes. Period? Period. Wow. Yeah, and looking at photos of his bike that you had posted on Instagram and stuff, that thing was like barely put together. It had pedals too, right? It, it was basically, they called it a motor bicycle. So they basically, yeah. it was a bicycle that they attached yeah. a motor to. That's that's how motorcycles got their start. He must have been a, a crazy son of a gun. <laughs> he really must have. Yeah. I'm second to do a lot of things uh, <laughs> with electric motorcycles. But Terry Hirschner was the first across the country in, I believe, June of 2013. I crossed the country in 2013 in... August. Yes, I did that with a group of people called the Ride the Future Tour. We made a movie called Kick Gas, and uh, we had a Nissan Leaf, my electric motorcycle, my Zero S. We had electric scooters and A to B electric bicycle. We had four people who took their vehicles across, and a group of other people kind of support who would sometimes ride the bicycle, sometimes the scooter. You know, sometimes. Uh, they'd ride on the back with me and sometimes in the car. But the four of us like took our individual vehicles, the Leaf, the Zero, the scooter, and the bicycle uh, all the way. And we're shooting for Guinness World Records. But when I was doing that, there were these two guys uh, from Italy who were going from Shanghai to Italy on Zero FXs. Wow. And they had a truck that would charge them up. Mm -hmm. So they, they did a supported ride, whereas I charged only on site. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring my charging system mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. So that's a distinction that's important to those of us who do this. Terry Hirschner also does all unsupported trips. But that trip, like, they went 12,000 miles, I wow. think, uh, which is just awesome. But last year, 2016, uh, was notable because three of us crossed the country. And so I crossed the country um, finishing out all the lower 48 states. So now I have ridden an electric motorcycle in all the lower 48 states. And you're the first to do that. And I am the first to do that. <laughs> Finally. Terry did not beat me on that one. Uh, no, Terry's a good friend and he, he's awesome. Yeah, he's a great He's guy. a trailblazer and he has basically uh, pushed the boundaries, especially with regards to charging systems. And I only... The, there's a big difference between us. He will tinker with his bike and tinker with his charging system and mess with that. I only use what is available for anyone to buy. Mm -hmm. So when I do a trip, anyone can do that exact same trip. You have to have some gumption and, and that kind of thing, but you don't have to have any special engineering skills. You just need to buy the right equipment and you can do it. And that's what I, that's always been my goal. I was gonna, say, I was gonna ask that that's been one of the ways you, you wanna show that it's doable. Right, right. I wanna show what every person can do and being a teacher, super handy because I have the time and it doesn't take a lot of money right? because once you have your charging system set up, uh, charging all across the country has cost like between $50 and like $80. I think this last trip that was 8,600 miles might have cost uh, 109. Yeah. It's, it's funny because I was in uh, Lovelock, Nevada and a, and a campground wanted $10 for a charge. If you're on a gas motorcycle, you fill up and you don't even blink when it's $10, but they said $10, like, I, I don't want to pay $10 for that, so I ended yes. up not going there. Um, so it, it's fascinating that your expectations about how much it should cost to travel yeah. change dramatically once you're on a, you're on a right. electric.